that Imam Ali salam taught that ask a question not to challenge and to find fault but the question is to seek an understanding and knowledge. Means the question is to further our knowledge not to debate, we're not people who debate and usually you get sort of blocked or erased. So if you wish to continue sending comments then we have to keep the adab of tariqah. Tariqah is not like other people where they sit and start to debate, just it's easier just to block and erase. So inshaAllah reminder that the subject tonight for tafakkur, meditation, contemplation, more than ever this subject is uh, essential. Ya musabibul asbab, Allah creates a condition. So that what? That when Sayyidina Yusuf salam, Allah in Shaitan rahman rahim Allah want to train Sayyidina Yusuf through him in a child because your dad not going to train you, your mom not going to train you, doesn't matter who you think those personalities are. When Allah wanted a reality and haqqaiq for Sayyidina Yusuf and that's why Allah is teaching so that the highest level can be humbled. So imagine all the lower ones, oh I'm from the, the Ahlul Bayt of this, I'm from the Ahlul Bayt of Chistiya, I'm the Ahlul Bayt of Rifai, I'm, I'm from all… Alhamdulillah. But if Allah want to train you, He throw you in a hole and in the hole everybody's equal. So there was no maqam, just the maqam of who was going to come to train him. Then later in the qisa because Surah Yusuf Surah 12 is the understanding of the path of the seeker. Throughout that is coded understandings of the arbab, the rabb, those whom are in authority, Malik al-Aziz, all of those secrets within Surah Al-Yusuf are for the seekers of the path who want sacred knowledges. The second part of his life is that Allah ordered for him jail. When the dunya wanted him too much, he was too attracted to his reality, he asked for himself, Ya Rabbi better that I go to jail, I isolate myself is better than what this dunya is about to do to me. And in that is an immense reality to seek our reality. So Allah causes a condition and then there's a choice for the believer. There always has to be a door in every condition. So the condition has come, you wanted it, you didn't want it, it's like a prison now, the isolation has been ordered. In that isolation is a time then to reflect. Allah then increase the motivation of the isolation is that there are even devils howling outside your door. If you listen carefully you'll hear them. And they're everywhere, uh, unseen shadows that are moving and like dark rain, black rain filling the skies. Again even more motivation that Allah created a condition thinking that, okay nobody's going to be crazy enough to stand out there. So you open the door, go into your home, go into your home, make it a cave of Rahmah and mercy, sit and meditate, sit and contemplate, do your zikrs, do your salawat, appreciate that all that Allah has given to you before all the things that you're asking for and not finding a contentment with Allah be thankful for what Allah has given to us. And then in that contemplation we begin to meditate and contemplate. The Ya Rabbi save me and protect me, then do your tafakkur. Then all the tools that Allah has given to us, you begin to appreciate them. Look how much that app has benefit. 
Instead of now struggling to find and, and uh, where am I going to recite from, where am I going to get the du'a from, where am I going to get from this website, that website, where was it the shaykh asked me to do? So those who didn't appreciate it and didn't support it, nothing worse than taking something in life and you didn't contribute anything to it. Mufkhur, what do you call in… in and we have in Farsi, just freeloading, just taking, taking, taking. At what point does somebody wake up in life and say, my God these guys have really prepared everything. This team is aggressive in their da'wah, they put all these tools out for a day that would come. They know musabibul asbab, they don't have to do it for that moment you're wondering why we need it. No, no, they, they lay the foundation of whatever Allah wants and inspires for them. So when a day comes you find, my goodness I have that here, I have that tool. I have everything that Shaykh Nazim had ordered me to recite. The month comes, I know what to recite, I have the awrah, I have the zikrs. And if the buzurgan and the big shaykhs want anything changed, no problem they'll add it into the apps. But we understand that now all those tools were there, so then support it. When I begin to meditate and contemplate, I'm, I'm using everything. Then I'm hearing all the talks that motivate me and take me away from fear. As much as you're watching the, the khabar and the news from one eye, at least watch the realities and the haqqaiqs from the heavenly channels that are broadcasting to balance yourself that faith and fear they don't get along like the truth and falsehood. Either you have faith or you have fear. Faith conquers fear, there should be no fear. And the box is instilling fear, instilling fear so that you lose your faith. So this is all in the meditation, why I have to be scared? My faith should be good, should be strong, let me listen to them so they can fine-tune my faith. Allah seems so far away, focus on your love for Sayyidina Muhammad And all the haqqaiqs that they bring out and they teach is to motivate you, recalibrate you. That's why they are like a Kaaba and a Qibla, that through their emanation and through their words you find Allah and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and you direct yourself in that direction and it begins to guide you. So that that guidance comes and takes away fear. Then they begin to train you that in your meditation, in your contemplation take away anger. Anger is a door in which shaitan will come to kill you. Your anger will be your death, nothing else. Don't blame Allah Your anger will be your death. Because anger is the door in which shaitan is coming through. The black spot on the heart that he enters in and he finds his way into the heart to stop it and to destroy it. So Allah gives us this opportunity that you feel the, all the, the excitement, you feel all the danger that's everywhere. Use the tools that these people have put for you. Sit and meditate and contemplate and say, I know my, my worst characteristic which is the fire of all the fires within my body is anger, qadab. Qadab is kufr. When qadab comes there's no justification for it, there's no reason for it, it just brings disbelief. Anyone who enters into a state of qadab and anger has lost their faith. As soon as you lose your faith what happens? Then shaitan will override the servant at that moment. So then they're teaching that in my meditation I should be focusing, why do I have this characteristic? The Ya Rabbi take this flame and take it down and with my wudu that fire goes down. And every time I get annoyed and agitated the fire goes down, now the whole world is being trained because Allah loves all His creation. The animals are suffering from insan. We talked many years ago, 
the earth will throw mankind out, it will open itself and throw them into a hole. The ocean will throw waves upon insan, the sky will rain upon insan and all the creatures will begin to look at man as a food where they'll come from the mountains into the cities. Don't we already see that now? While insan is hiding, the zalim is hiding, <laughs> they're coming in now. The lions are coming in, the creatures are coming in and now with the, all the bodies everywhere all of the pestilence will start to come, whom their food is the flesh of mankind. All of these difficulties it's not enough to motivate someone to sit and contemplate, Ya Rabbi how do I conquer my anger, wash and make wudu, identify your sickness, put a rock in your mouth, not a rock but a lollipop because of liability issues <laughs> because a rock you could accidentally swallow but the lollipop has a stick so that you control the biggest eruption from anger is the mouth. Anytime you feel like you're going to be angry say that this anger will kill me, doesn't matter who's right or wrong. You're losing the point of who's right and wrong. There is no right and wrong because the master of all creation has just sent you the test. He doesn't care who the characters in the play and what the script of this play was. Allah sent the test to see if anger is coming out. Anger only comes when the situation is perfect. So there's no right and wrong and she did and he said and you said and she did is of no relevance. The only relevance is you got anger and Allah's testing you and Allah's showing to you I'm not going to judge who's right and wrong but be aware the devil will enter in through this door and when he comes in he will ravage you and destroy everything about you. So we have the best motivation right now where fires all around us. Allah has thrown us into the fire of Sayyidina Ibrahim salam. Qul ya nahru kuni bardan wa salaman ala Ibrahim. Ahl al-Bayt al-Nabi They were asking, Ya Rabbi make the fire to be cool and peaceful for lovers of Sayyidina Ibrahim and the lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad and everywhere around us is a fire. And we're asking, Ya Rabbi make the fire to be cool and peaceful. Our homes, our zawiya, our ourselves to have the coolness and the love from Allah's anger because these shaitans can't be here without Allah's permission. When Allah says, it's enough and my qadab will fill the earth, every shaitan will be running in. And the only thing that can make Allah's anger to be cool and peaceful, Salaam qawlum mi rabbir raheem, nas salaamun, wal ya nar kuni bardan wa salaaman, who's bardan wa salaaman? Sayyidina Muhammad means even the ruhaniyat of Prophet came to be and cover Sayyidina Ibrahim The coolness of Sayyidina Muhammad the beatific light of Sayyidina Muhammad encompasses that soul to make it to be in a state of ecstasy and joy even in the midst of a fire. This is the greatness, this is the, the reality that Allah gave to us that is the secret of Ba'auzu Billah. How are we going to seek refuge from these shaitans with Allah And awliya came and taught, before any knowledge know that the auzu its secret is to be in the refuge of those whom already have refuge from devils, that they already are in the Divinely Presence of Allah and Sayyidina Muhammad is the master and sultan of that reality. That means that that love, that training, this, this whole course that being taught so that when they're making salawats, they're making their du'as, they're making their madad, they're making all of their contemplation 
they're thankful for the way, they support the way, they now have an opportunity to understand. If you were heedless before, don't be heedless now. If you were saving for, for some sort of end and retirement, prepare yourself for your akhirah. Make an intention for the masjid in the center. We need a center in Los Angeles. Those whom are watching from the United States, support. Support the center to open in Los Angeles. Allah is great. When we were going and searching for now two years and every time we look, say, well these prices are insane. Allah said, don't worry, I'm going to make a fire cell. Right? I'm going to bring the prices down, don't worry about that. It's not your business to worry about it. You merely do the work you're supposed to do and Allah provide from ways you never imagine. So now with all these conditions happening, you can bet that spirituality is going to be an immense awakening. In areas where shops will be closing and businesses will be closing, Allah will be opening. Allah's doors will be opening. That which they ran for and fell and collapsed, now take the taste of the real honey. Come to Allah's rahmah and mercy, come to the doors of akhirah. That with every condition an immense door will be opening upon this earth. And position ourselves in life as this whole package. You took the books, you took the understanding, you're sitting and doing this khalwa, you're doing your meditation. Those whom are hearing live and then later on on rebroadcast. Live a life for something greater than yourself, have a cause and a purpose. So every time Ramadan finishes immediately we make our intention, we're in Mawlid mode. And the Ya Rabbi give us a life in which to have a beautific grand milad al Nabi Why? That Allah don't wipe you off the earth before that point. Say, ah, this guy serves a good purpose, he helps at the Mawlid, he does some zikrs. Beautiful, let's keep him. But this zalim, throw him out. It gives us a, a purpose. I'm working towards something, not myself, not to improve myself and buy things for myself. Do you have something that you exist for? We exist to serve, to help, to build, to do dawah. Join us so that you feel you have a purpose. The late hours you work. And the hours that you put into everything, going to support that dawah, their TV, their radio, their apps, their books, their internet, all of that under the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad because they're propagating the love of Sayyidina Muhammad If you know two or three, you'd be lucky. Nobody's propagating those realities. Gives us now a flavor and a purpose in our khalwa and our seclusion. Ya Rabbi, let me come out of this khalwa with your safety, with your rida, your satisfaction. If you give me tulid om, you give me a life, Ya Rabbi, don't let me to die now in it. Let me to go back and be charitable with my time, with my effort, with my ability to live for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad to raise the honourable fa- flag and tashrif, praise the magnificent existence of that reality. Ya Rabbi let me to spread that love and when it's time I go at least I did something. In this fire and in this bad characteristics of this dunya, I did something to spread the love of Sayyidina Muhammad This uh, reminder for myself in these days, this makes this life to be so beautiful. It's going to go, alhamdulillah at least it goes, we did beautiful maulis, we did beautiful programs, we did all our salawat, it goes. I'm glad to be in the hands of Sayyidina Muhammad But if you did nothing, yeah of course you'd be scared. We pray that Allah inspire us to do good, to take this time that Allah has given to us, 
recalibrate ourselves. What's our direction? What's our purpose? What are we trying to achieve? Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.